shows what I'm doing on the night. So I received to get my first acting gig. Woo! Thank you. I had to act sad that my girl got a miscarriage. I know, I know. Don't judge, just listen, just listen. Uh, Y'all gotta check the performance out. It was performance based. Uh, I made myself, I felt like I was Denzel at the Oscars. I made myself cry that one tear, and I don't know if y'all seen Denzel in Glory, I made myself cry that one tear. And the whole time, uh, so after we'd done crying, uh, she gives she gave me a hug, I tell her I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Give her some uh, sad ice cream, me some happy ice cream. And then when uh, we come, I come back, I'm, I come back, I leave, I forgot my keys. So I'm, uh, I come back, I hear her on the phone, and she was talking, she's talking like, yeah, this stupid motherfucker thought he was gonna keep the baby, thought I was gonna keep the baby. Uh, I, I didn't even know if it was his or not. So, so that's how I know, I ain't know I was dating Viola Davis in this motherfucker. She been acting the whole time too as well. <laughs> so I'm, I'm single now because of that shit. And um, I'm starting to date. Uh, when I realized it's, it's kind of hard to date black women or approach black women. Just because I really don't know how old they are anymore. Like, <laughs> like, because from like 24 to 54, y'all all about the same age. Like, like Will said she was like fifth grade. I thought she was 40. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, don't matter. I still, I still go. Like, I still, I still go. That shit. I don't, uh, I don't really like dating white women though. Um, I'm not like Dr. Umar or like you know Black Power like. I don't think white women, are, white people are devil or anything. I think they're aliens. Um, <laughs> the fact that they get skin burned too, too fast is kind of weird. And, and they always try to conquer some shit. Like only aliens and white people always try to conquer lamb. Those are the only people trying to conquer some shit. So. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, so, but the reason why I want to date white women, though, is not for all that, for all that black power shit. It's just because, you know, like, I'm, I'm decent, but I ain't, like, decent, you know? Uh, oh. Like, oh, don't, hey, oh. I'm decent, man. Like, hey, I said, hey, I can make you come. I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna touch a liver. Like, if you want liver dick, then, I don't know, go somewhere else. But I can still get the job done. I can still get the job done. Uh, but yeah, I just don't want to be the first person that a white woman had, first black person a white woman had, because of the, you know, the myth, you know, the myth, uh, <laughs> that myth, and uh, I don't want to be the first, the first person that she said, uh, yeah, I gotcha, I tried to, I don't want to, I don't, I can be like, she got to go through a couple first and then get to me, like, once she realized it ain't all, you know, but, uh, she said she going back, huh, she going back, yeah, of course, yeah, maybe, maybe after the next nigga. <laughs> maybe the next nigga. <laughs> but let's change the topic. Enough about sex. Um, so I, uh, well, let's talk about me being single. Since I'm here, I'm single. Uh, single is boring. It's very boring. Like I don't understand what's having sex with a whole bunch of random women when you don't, we don't have a beautiful queen to come home to. Like that. I don't. Yeah, I, I, that, that's that what makes it fun. That's the whole point of having a girl, girlfriend. So I get to sleep with random women, and it'd be more entertaining. Like, just on the simple fact of the ride home after you got done having sex, and you just looking in that rearview mirror the whole ride home, not even paying attention to the road, and you and you're just looking at yourself in the rearview mirror saying, "Man, you're a wild ass boy. <laughs> wild ass boy. Let me, let me smell, smell your mustache a little bit, like you know." Smell, smell the mustache, making, making sure everything's all, you know? Make sure you glitter on your, ain't on your neck. <laughs> but yeah, but I do have a son. I, I do have a son. He's autistic, which is, which is cool. Don't call him. He's, a, he's an asshole too. <laughs> but he's autistic and, um, but it's black that it's for black people that now we can admit to, we can know what our, our kids have or disabilities or anything like that because when uh when we was growing up we didn't know what they were we just if they were something was going wrong with them we just knew they knew that they were slow like we didn't know like what was going on we just knew they were slow and um prime example it was this guy that used to run around like he just walk around the hill make his way to touch things he touch stuff and um 
Now we know that's something like OCD or something like that. But back then, we just didn't know what it was, and we gave him a nickname. And what would you think the nickname would be? We're kids, what would you think? Touch the Touch. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Greatest nickname in the world. Touch it. So that's my time, though. I'm Jeff Butler. Now, a couple of more times with Jeffrey Butler, y'all. The, the, the cheat shit, dangerous game, Jeff. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs>